everybody. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I like to stay organized when it comes to my Walt Disney World vacations. So from a packing standpoint, from an airplane standpoint, from a park bag standpoint, and everything in between. So a Disney vacation is one of those vacations where there's lots of moving parts. And the more organized that you can be going into it, it's going to make for a better trip. When we go down to Disney, we tend to not do carry-on only bags. Uh, when we travel other places, we do. But I feel like we just bring so many things down to Disney from a comfort level that we always check a bag. And so I like to have a toiletries bag that packs as flat in my suitcase as possible. So this is the one I use. This is the Magic to Door Flat Packing Toiletries case. I'll link this below if you guys want to find it. Um, this is a great case because it packs flat and you can stick a whole lot of stuff in here. So literally what you do is you pack all of your toiletries in this case. It's got a little handle so it's easy to grab out of your suitcase. And then when you get to your hotel room, you just lift up, open this flap here and it has a hook and you can hang this at Disney a lot of times they have uh, either a towel bar right by the sink or they have a telescoping makeup mirror that you could hang this on um, they also have hooks on the door if you wanted to actually keep it inside the bathroom part but what I like is that the hook has a little bit of a rubber foot on it and so you literally can hang it on the side of your sink if you don't have anything to actually hang it onto which is really really convenient and you literally when you're at home you pack all of your toiletries in here when you get there you lift it open and you hang it up and everything that anybody would need from a bathroom standpoint is all in here pre-packed and ready to go. So it's got a nice mesh pocket up here at the top if you need something to dry. So like my mouth guard that I wear at night, what I put in here real easy. Um, it's got a big pocket in the front with a couple of mesh pockets here and then a waterproof pocket right here. So if you travel with essential oils and sometimes they leak a little bit and you don't want them getting all over your clothes, you can put them right in the front pocket and it'll keep everything kind of contained in there and just wipe it out when you're done also has a waterproof pocket on the side here as well so this would be good for like a toothbrush or something anything that would be wet um, or has potential of leaking on this side here and then on this side it has a pocket that actually expands so you could open this center part and if you have maybe your makeup that you're bringing along with you or makeup brushes or regular hair brushes things that are bigger um, you can put in here it expands and then there's another pocket on the end um, that's like another nice all tall up and down pocket but this is a great bag to carry all of your toiletries and just really unpack super duper fast incredibly durable just great great little um, toiletries case let's talk clothes so my favorite accessory for packing clothes is this thing so this is by travel on it's a packing shelf have you ever seen one of these? I did a video on this last year about this time. Um, so this is a packing shelf. So what you do is you hang it um, in your closet on like a hook in your closet and then you pack literally right into these shelves. So you can put your shorts, your shirts, your you know pajamas, whatever. And then down here at the bottom, there's a mesh part that zips where you can put all of your undergarments and things like that, things that are smaller that tend to rustle around, zip that up. And then you take this from hanging in your closet at home to Put it in your suitcase like that, all right? Put it directly into your suitcase. And then when you get to your hotel room, you actually just lift this right up, put it right in the closet, and you are unpacked from a clothing standpoint. It's awesome. This thing is great. We took this to the boardwalk last year. It worked fabulous for us. Um, I put all of my husband's clothes up here. My clothes were in the center because I'm shorter. And then both of our undergarments were down here in the zippered part. And it worked fantastic. It was really, really good. And it prevented us from having to trip over our suitcase um, because we were able to unpack the suitcase just by lifting this right out. And then we just kept that kind of by the front door. And there's like a little angled area where you can put your suitcases. So you're not stepping on it all the time. It's fabulous. I love that. Another accessory I like to have is packing cubes. And these are packing cubes by, what's the name of them? They are Shack Pack. <laughs> I guess that's how you say it, S-H-A-C-K-E-P-A-K. -A -A and you can get these on Amazon as well. Everything's linked below. Um, I like to have these two corral items together that maybe aren't toiletries or aren't things like clothing, um, stuff that I would also need to have in the room that I want to kind of keep together. 
And these are also really good for keeping items organized in your park bag. Here is our park bag, the Coleman backpack cooler. I like to take the small size or small sizes of the packing cubes, one or two different colors, and I like to put the items that I need for my bag inside of the packing cube. And the reason that I like to do that, I've also used a Ziploc bag as well, and I do keep Ziploc bags in here um, just in case it rains and I wanna put my phone in there. I don't want my phone getting wet, but it'll still work in the Ziploc, you know? Um, so I like to have that. Um, I like if something gets wet, I like to have a Ziploc in there, but the packing cubes just make it easy so I know where my items are. If I just have my items like scattered throughout this pocket and this pocket here and the side pockets and this big pocket here, I wouldn't know where anything is. <laughs> I would know it, I would forget it, and then it would be like super frustrating when I'm trying to find something and I can't. So I like having pretty much everything, like my Band-Aids, my oils that I have, my uh, suntan lotion, my sunglasses, everything. I like to have them in a packing cube inside the bag so I know that inside this pocket, all I have to do is pull out the packing cube and I will find my nail file, I'll find my band-aids, whatever it is that I need, it's all gonna be in there. And that just makes it a little bit easier for me and my sanity, knowing that I have everything corralled together in one place. Again, a Ziploc bag works just as well um, if you wanna do that instead. That's completely up to you. I know that the Disney security really appreciates having the items like kind of corralled together so that they can check it out when you are going through the entrance of the different parks. Um, it just makes their security a little bit more expedited when they can just you know, feel around, see what you've got. Um, they're just making sure that you don't have any like weapons or things like that that you shouldn't have in your bags and just having it all together makes the process go a little bit faster. When you, If you fly down to Disney and you are taking Disney's Magical Express service, basically you fly to the Orlando International National Airport and then you get on a bus that takes you to your hotel room. You don't even have to go to the luggage carousel because they're going to transfer your bags from that luggage carousel <laughs> to the hotel for you and you'll see them in your hotel room, you know, one to four hours later. So if you have an early flight and you get to your hotel and your room's not ready, what do you do? So most of the time when you're at Disney, they have rooms ready for you between three o'clock and four o'clock p.m. So if you're one of those people who has the first flight out of the day, right, you leave at like 6 a.m., you get down to Disney at 8 a.m., what are you gonna do without having your luggage for five hours or however many hours, more than that, before you can check into your hotel room. You don't wanna just sit in the lobby and like wait for your hotel room to be ready. So what I like to do is I like to have my park bag or my day bag, whatever the situation is, as my carry-on. So this is my park bag. This is a Coleman backpack cooler. It's legit a cooler. Um, and so what I like to do is I like to have my items in here at my airplane seat ready for me so I can use, you know, whatever it is I need on the plane. So like my phone and my earbuds and a magazine and whatever, whatever I need for the two hour flight that it is. Um, but also whatever it is that I'm going to need once I get to Disney before I am reunited with my luggage. And even if you are somebody who rents a car and you have your luggage with you, you can always leave your luggage with Bell Services at the front desk so you don't have to worry about it. And they even have a, uh, a refrigerator too if you have some groceries or something that you need to keep cool they can keep those cool for you all across the board regardless of any of these situations you would want to have your magic bands with you okay magic bands are your park ticket they are your hotel room key they're all the things so you want to make sure you have your magic bands so a couple of options of what you could do let's say you get to Disney at 8 o'clock in the morning and you're like okay what do I do now? So you have the option of multiple things. You could, if you want, just take a swim in your hotel's pool. So in your backpack or whatever bag that you would have on the airplane, you'd wanna make sure you have your swimsuits in here. Uh, they do have towels that you can get from the pool, so you don't have to worry about towels, um, but having your swimsuits good, maybe a change of clothes, as well as a wet bag for your swimsuits. So you can change into dry clothes afterwards. 
card um, is something that's really, really helpful. Also, having sunscreen, um, having your sunglasses, whatever you would need for a day at the pool, have that in your carry-on bag. Another option, if you are somebody who has enough tickets or maybe you have an annual pass where you can go to the park, have in your park bag whatever you would need to get into your park. So what would that be? Um, of course, just like the pool, you'd want to have your sunscreen, you would want to have your sunglasses, you'd want to have maybe snacks or um, I don't know, what else do you want to have for a park? Maybe a change of clothes, change into afterward, just thought, I don't know. Um, so anything that you would need in the actual park, have it in your carry-on bag. And that way you have the option if you want to go do something rather than being stuck at the hotel in the lobby and not have any of your stuff and you're like, eh, just enough to get you by until you get your luggage delivered to your room. Another option, you could go to Disney Springs or you could just hang out and check out your resort. I mean, there's always something to do at the hotels. Um, whether it's shopping or you can get a bite to eat or maybe they have, you know, something special going on at the pool or whatever. There's always something going on there. So, but moral of the story is have whatever it is you decide to do at the ready in your carry-on bag. You will thank me for that later. When booking a Disney trip, oftentimes you're gonna have a lot of confirmations. And so what I like to do with my confirmations is I actually do two things. I put the confirmation numbers in my notes app of my phone, so I make sure I have all of those together. But I also like to print off my confirmations too and keep them either in a large Ziploc or in a manila folder and keep that in my carry-on bag. And the reason for that is I tend to forget like what times things are or what my rental car company is or whatever, you know, and so I like to have those confirmations. Also from a tickets standpoint, I like to really double check and make sure that I have my tickets linked to my magic band, but also have the paper confirmations with me also, just in case something happens and like technology, you never know with magic bands. It's just good to have a paper confirmation. Um, it just makes that process, if you have to you know, do some damage control, a little bit faster and easier. If you have dining reservations and your FastPass Plus reservations made, be sure to have your My Disney Experience app loaded to your phone, linked to your account before you leave home. It's This is an invaluable resource, having all of this stuff on your phone, um, because you're probably not gonna remember what time exactly your dining reservation is or what time exactly your FastPass Plus reservations are. Um, when you're planning them out six months in advance, you'll know when your dining reservations are, but then six months later, you're gonna be like, I don't remember anything. So what I like to do is I like to either draw out my plans or write them down on a post-it, take a picture of it, put it in my notes app and take a screenshot of that, or even just take a screenshot of the My Disney Experience app and set that as my lock screen so I know what it is, where we need to be, when we need to be there, and it just kind of makes it easier. I just had to change my battery mid-sentence. Um, so the last thing I want to share with you guys, if you are renting a car, be sure to take a photo of the car that you are renting with the license plate because a lot of times we will forget <laughs> what kind of car we're renting. But also when you're driving that rental car, if you park it in a Disney parking lot, take a picture of where you're parked on your phone. It's super duper annoying to go to the Magic Kingdom all day come back and you're like, I have no idea where I parked my car. Now, if you get into that kind of situation, ask a cast member that's working in the parking lot. If you generally know around what time of day you got there, they can normally point you in the direction of where you're most likely parked. Um, but you can avoid that by taking a picture of like Goofy 17 or whatever. And then also take a picture of any landmarks. Maybe you have a line of trees behind the car, or maybe you have a light post that you're parked near. Take a picture of that too. And that'll help trigger your memory so you can get back to your car super duper easily at the end of the day. All right, guys, those are some tips for you in staying organized in your travel and your trip prep and your all the things at Disney. If you guys have any other advice or things that you want to share about how you stay organized on a Disney vacation, leave a comment down below. I would love to hear your tips. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. If you haven't already and you'd like to hit that button down below, subscribe and be sure to hit the notification bell as well. You will get an email every time I upload a new video. Happy Disney organization. I will see you all tomorrow. Ciao.